Everybody, just kind of getting you up to speed on how my motor is going to work with an alternator, a homemade alternator put on the end of it. So I'm going to kind of go through the concepts real quick. I'm going to use the pulse motor. Of course, I'm going to have to make it more powerful, and I'm going to get some uh, neo magnets for the motor. Okay, that will make it stronger, and more torquey. Um, I may have to gear this down eventually, but when you make an alternator from what I've read it takes I bought six neo magnets that one inch by two inches by a quarter inch and uh, they pick up like 37 pounds they're rated at that so what I'm going to do these aren't it but I'm going to show you the idea I'm going to place them all around here okay hold on a second I'm going to place them all around the saw blade and the reason I use a saw blade is because you want to create as much of a magnetic field as possible so when you do a homemade alternator uh, the magnetic field you're creating around the coils from what I've read works out good here's my coils, I've got six coils so it's going to be a six pole alternator I'm going to connect all the inside wrappings with the outside wrappings all together and uh, I hook it to a bridge rectifier to make DC current so on the other side of this where the magnets are rotating the rotor this will be my stator so I'm going to put this on a, a wood disc and fill it with resin and get the magnets as very close as possible to the coils and that's going to generate uh, a lot of electricity most electricity you can I may rewrap these coils to get them thinner and broader uh, that's something else I'm gonna mess around with to see if I can generate more electricity that way so I'll show you that the 0.04 amps that I'm using to run this um, I haven't uh, I'll put on the amps how much it's drawing with the uh, extra weight on uh, when all that's complete to show you exactly how many amps and volts are going into the motor and hopefully with the alternator I'm building I'll be able to generate of course more electricity using magnets as a fuel so I'm not saying it's over unity or anything but I am saying that with magnets uh, there's a lot of fuel for many many years inside a magnet and um, that's what I'm trying to prove here so that's my theory take it as it is and I'm gonna turn it on for you real quick get it spinning of course with the extra deal on there it takes a little bit to get up to speed that's why I need neo magnets and stuff to get that cranking real good. Okay. There's the saw blade. Of course, I gotta straighten that out so it doesn't wobble. I wanna make it as flat as possible. And it's cruising pretty good. I'll show you with this little demonstration on a cup. And it's cruising pretty good. So, there you have it, for stage one of the pulse motor generator. I'll let you know how it goes, and uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.